What's up, Squirrels? It's Nerf here. And I uh, look at the ranking, and I dropped a little bit. Well, actually, I didn't really drop. Uh, other people passed me because everybody's gaining a uh, rating right now because uh, everybody's so low. And that's why I'm going to do a rank match video today. And I'm going to play with Gravelox. <clears throat> I, most of uh, my time with the ladder lately has been using Gravelox. Um, I've been playing some Tempo Order Knights. Uh, some Mono Decay with like Poison stuff. But mostly I've been playing Gravelox and Ladder. And they've been working pretty darn well. This Snargle Omelette is amazing uh it just puts you so ahead in resources and card draw because you just like keep like ramping up and just using the snorkel omelet um Groovelock freak is also amazing uh honestly i think snorkel omelet Groovelock freak uh and they will need to get nerfed slightly like maybe Groovelock freak should like only have five health normally um and maybe snorkel omelet I don't know what they would do to Snarl Alarm, but just maybe change its effect. Because it seems very strong right now. And, uh. <clears throat> Gravelock Elder. It might be a little too strong. I mean, it didn't used to be too strong, but now that there's so many other Gravelocks, maybe it should only give the health buff instead of the attack and the health buff. I don't know. That might be too big of a nerf, but here we go. So, rank bench with our Gravelock deck. You saw I had a couple Corrodes. Yeah, this isn't like that normal of a Gravelock deck. Um, I'm going to keep this hand, even though I don't have a 3 drop, I do like the burn turn. Actually, no, I'm going to draw a new hand. I want a 3 drop. This hand is much worse, that was a bad decision. I have a 3 drop, but no 1 drop, 2 drop, or 4 drop. And he's playing growth. Uh, from my experience, uh, Greylock was beating growth, that's good. And I have a 4 drop now, so now I have a nice, nice curve. Hopefully it doesn't play like a Brave. Nog, okay. Interesting. Maybe I'm going to see like some kind of beast growth deck. Should I try to take down? Yeah, I'm going to try to assert dominance in the middle row. Let's see what I can do. Once I get those double freaks out, they might be attacking every turn. So that's good. Let's see, I'm not sure Unholy Grail is playing like a beast deck or something. Interesting, moves down. Okay. In that case, I'm just going to put the Uhu up here. In case you have a Crimson Ball, I don't want to lose both of those guys. And we'll see if uh, he decides to move both of these up to destroy the Snarl Omelette. He does. Alright, so interesting why I moved down. I don't see the point of moving down right there. And maybe a Birth of the Bull, a Fang Bear, something right in the middle there. Rat King. Okay, so it looks like a, just a decently aggressive growth deck. And hope I can get like a Thunder Surge soon. Elder, I have to play that. I have to keep that Elder. As good as, as, good as Freaks are, Elder is just better. Um, and I'm going to play the Elder first. Because Elder is more important. Now let's move up. Okay. So, hopefully I get like a low cost grave lock next turn. Like after I attack her scrolls, so then I can like use Uhu to just fill the board more. Actually, no, I probably want to attack with Uhu just get rid of a, a rat because I don't want to get overwhelmed. And oh, he smartly moves down. If he takes down Middle Idol, it'll be a hard battle for me to come back from, but he does not play a creature this that turn, so that's good for me. And I'll sacrifice a Skull Shrine for Skrulls. Um, now let's see what I can do. I can play a Gravelock Freak and attack with this to kill a Beast Rat. I can play a... I can... Increase my energy by two and play a Gravelock Freak and a Spark. So I destroy the more important thing right here. I'm not sure if I want to do that though. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and. Oh, why did I move down? 
Actually, it doesn't matter that I moved down. Actually, it matters a little bit, but whatever. Alright, so let's play the Gravelock Freak. I'll put you in front because I want, if, uh, if the Uhu takes damage or dies, I'll be able to have this Gravelock attack. So by moving down there, I did... Uh, now, now all three of these rats can attack me. He has like a Crimson Bull and like he would be able to hurt me a little bit, but I think I'll be okay. Ancestral Pact. That is a really strong scroll now. This lingering, not lingering, it's now a lingering spell. And um, it just gets so much card draw. It's almost like, do you want to kill units or do you not want to kill units? Because if, he, if I kill units, then he's just going to have so much stuff. Um, so now here's my choice. Do I want to kill two rats or do I want to kill one rat? And I'm going to choose... Look, this, this pact is on three counts down. I'm not going to leave these guys standing around for multiple turns. So I'm just going to have to kill the units. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to kill the units as they come and he's just going to get card draw. I think that's the best uh, option for me. Because... It, if I sit around waiting, you're just going to build up units and, like, destroy me. But with Gravelocks, I should be able to, wall, giving him extra card advantage, I should be able to continue filling up the board and get really powerful creatures. Um, hopefully I get another Elder soon. And once that gets going, it's, even if he, like, has ultimate card draw, I can't do anything with it with growth because he doesn't have damage curses or violent dispersals to destroy the Elders. So, yeah, that, that's my strategy here. And he's wrapping up as he should be because he has a lot of cards. I think he's only allowed to wrap up there. Nognest. That's a value card right there. Uh, I'm not sure. This might be Miracle Pudding. Um, actually, I don't think it is Miracle Pudding because I saw a Kinfolk breathe. But who knows. And... Alright. Lowers their health a little bit. So... Three health is a magic health that you can be destroyed in. Um, whew, I think I'm going to want to sacrifice the spark not getting good draws here not getting good draws I'm going to go ahead and just destroy two of these things I'm going to put a potion resistance Okay, I'll destroy those two and then just put a potion resistance on this thing. So, whatever. He's continuing to get more scrolls. It's really, it really sucks there that I didn't have a grave lock to play. Problem is, it's, this deck is kind of inconsistent and it draws because there's only like 20 creatures or something. That's not that many creatures for a scrolls deck. You want like mid 20s to 30. Um, I considered putting in like maybe Automata Forge and stuff like that, but I do like the utility scrolls that I have in this gray block, like, like Potion of Resistance, like Fury, Iron Whip, Corrode. Corrode has given me a couple wins already with this deck. Um, luckily for us, that Ancestral Pack will go away soon. But actually, it's not going to matter soon because he's going to have enough card draw to be super powerful okay so he kills that but now that means this guy attacks so I mean whatever I'm going to keep the other post in resistance I'm gonna sacrifice a fury hopefully I can get another grave luck three cost grave luck I don't um, and I'm not sure what I want to do because I think I'm just gonna crew it. I don't want to kill his units really, but he's just gonna play another ancestral pack. He's just gonna keep ramping up. I think yeah, I think I have to kill his units. <sighs> Man, this sucks. Well, let's do this then. Alright. Wow, he has so much stuff. Those ancestral packs, really, I think they should be nerfed. 
<sighs> there's another one. Yeah, that's why like I probably made a good decision there, just killing his stuff, because he would just he would just play another one. Um, and a brave. Eventual better. If he's not running god hands, I think he'll be okay. Uh, let's see. Do I go for a Fury? Fury Corrode? What does that even do? Fury Corrode. Shows those two, and then I have. Let's. Let's do it. Let's get rid of the machinated. Alright. Might not be the best play here. Oh, wait. The, those guys that go off too. Yeah, let's just destroy his units. I, I'm done caring about that Ancestral Pact. I'm done caring about that. And just in case this thing gets hurt, I'm just going to play Post Resistance on it, just in case. And because you have Post Res, I can move you up a little bit. Alright. Well. Now what? Like, <laughs> I guess I just have to hope I can get like another elder soon and then get a quick road win. Oh, he has so many scrolls and resources. How do I? How do I do this? Like, if I don't kill those creatures, then I would have been like worse off, I think. But I still have board control, and it's hard to lose board control with grave locks. If I can get another grave lock elder out, if I can get another elder out, I think I'll be. I think I'll be pretty safe. And I was just gonna god hit next turn and I'll be done. Okay, let's. Alright. Let's see. I need a snargle omelet. If I had a snargle omelet, I'd be able to ramp up. Oh, speak of the devil. Let's just go ahead and uh, burn, even though he's drawing a scroll from it. And keep the Thunder Surge. Okay, this has posters in, so I don't mind it being like towards the front. And Snargle Omelet. Alright. I have to worry about like a surprise win by him though. So next turn is probably like Sacrifice for Resources, Thunder Surge, and Snargle Omelet. I don't know. We'll see. Depends on if he clumps his units together. I've done no idle damage so far. None. Sippo Zilch. Hmm. Veteran on that. It looks like the Snargle Omelette is going down. What's he going to do? Like, rally? Rally wouldn't be that effective. It just takes down the Snargle Omelette. But I guess if he has like a billion rallies in hand, there's no point not to. Alright. So. And he gets growth too. I guess I will... Just destroy his stuff. I'll keep hold of the... Thunder Surge. And. I guess I just kill everything. Sure, why not? He already has like unlimited resources. I just need, I need another Greylock Elder. That's what I need. Come on, where's. I've only drawn one Greylock Elder so far. That's the second Ancestral Pact, but. At this point, it doesn't really matter because he has all the resources and cards he needs. And there's a third ancestral pact. Oh boy. Um, and there's Vrakkin to protect his idols. Okay, I'll probably just thunder search that. But he's just key guys separating. He knows what he's doing. Uh, ancestor the fox. Okay, let's get another elder, please. He can, he can start going like God Hand and Crimson Bull. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's get rid of the spark. I don't know, just... It's 
not much to do here. All my stuff attacks next turn, but at the same time, it all dies while I was like a god hand, crimson bull, and like a ragged wolf. Um, how can I prevent all this bad stuff from happening? Let's see. All right, that's my best. <laughs> Come on, I need another elder. Yeah, I don't think I won in this game. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. He has just so many resources. I mean, God Hand by him now wouldn't do too much to me, but there's really no point. Like, he probably has like three God Hands in hand because he has so many scrolls. Alright, actually, maybe he's not going to do a big thing this turn. Looks like he's just destroying this thing, which is not too bad. And then I'll be able to, like, destroy the rest with, like, Thunder Surge and stuff. But destroying them does nothing. I just have to... I have to get that Corrode. I have to get another Corrode and hope I have a chance at hitting idols. Okay. So that's just to kill this. Nog and Sister the Fox. Alright. Now let's get it. We need another elder. Yeah, we need resources and an elder. He's just gonna win with like a god hand soon. Maybe he doesn't have god hand. Uh let's sacrifice the VD. Okay, um, I guess I Thunder Surge. What else am I supposed to do? And then... Um... I will... Hope my stuff survives. And I do my first bit of idle damage. And. Rat King. Hmm. There's an elder. So let's play, right? Better late than never. Let's play another uh, gray block too. So how are we doing this? Outcast elder. All right. See. If I go Thunder Surge. Fertile soil, like he needs a, like he needs uh, more scrolls. But he's probably feeling like he can't break through. If he doesn't have a god hand, he can't, if he doesn't have god hands in the deck, because maybe he's not expecting to get this high in resources because he doesn't, because he doesn't um, have, because he doesn't think he's, 
he's gonna be able to like get this high so he doesn't have god hands but i suspect he had, he we saw he has a rally and probably has crimson bull so i'm just gonna have to get a bunch more grave locks and just keep filling the board so i can actually protect my idols and then just get like go off on like three straight furies <laughs> Rally, Crimson Bull maybe. Yeah, there's a Crimson Bull. And what is he gonna do? Destroy the front two guys in the row. I mean that hurts me, but at least I'm killing his stuff now a little bit. He does. He doesn't actually. He takes out the. He's going for idols. Interesting. I'm actually happy he did that. Yes, I'm very happy he did that. Um. I'm gonna go with a Thunder Surge this turn. Yeah, I'm actually really happy to. I think I can come back in this game now. As long as I protect these three idols. Okay, so let's Thunder Surge here. Yeah, I think I have the Thunder Surge there. So Thunder Surge. And then a Guard, I guess. Now what do I do? I could take out two idols here. Oh boy. I think I can win this game. I was thinking this whole time I was going to lose this game, but I think I'm able to win this game. Um, do I take out the two idols while I can, or take out his creatures when he doesn't have Ancestral Totem out? Ancestral Pact out. You know, let's take out, let's take out the idols. Let's take out the idols. And... Let's go ahead and... I don't want to lose this guy, so I almost want to... Is, five, is 15 health enough in the front of this idol? What if he has like a god hand, double crimson would be... That would be enough to take out that. So yeah, let's put another unit there. And hope that this elder can survive. Alright. So wow, we're both going for idols now. I was... Alright, too bad uh, this guy couldn't kill one of the nogs with his pillage effect. Alright, now we have to... Hold down the fort. Let's hold down the fort, boys. Keep the keep the elders in the back and just keep piling on grave locks in front. Let's see what he does. I guess his his plan just keep filling up the board and hope he can get a rally crim a rally crimson bull, like rally double crimson bull, and try to do this. But if I can like Okay, so is he gonna rally now or something? He might rally. He's probably not going to rally. He's probably just going to wait for a rally and a Crimson Bull. But, veteran on that. Okay. And that'll be his turn. Alright, let's let's uh, do some more stuff. Alright, Freak is pretty good. Freak is pretty darn good. Um, let's get rid of the Raider, I guess. Elder is actually better than Freak. Okay, so I guess I destroyed this guy that's attacking. No, did you call Gunko? No. Why not? Because I just didn't call him yet. Well, it was a good play. Well. Alright, so I'll go with the Elder back here. And then the outcast in front all right and i think i can afford to move more health in front of this middle guy because i think down here i'm a little more safe because of the freak having nine health all right so that's a lot of health on the board. Wow, I have a lot of health on the board. Um, oh, shoot. That's a thing. He has rumbles. He has rumbles. Probably like multiple rumbles. Well, that just turns this around, maybe. Let's see what happens. It's 10 resources still, so he can still do just about anything. He can go Crimson Bull and around. I don't think that Rumble was uh, 
that good for him though. I mean, it was pretty good for him, but I think I'm okay. He's gonna Crimson Bolt, so at least take out that one of the elders, which is pretty crucial. And Crimson Bolt. Let's see. Okay, well, if I can get a, uh, what's it called? A Thunder Search next turn. Alright, so that hurt me, but I'm okay. I'm still alive. Let's get rid of the... Actually, I like the Brood. Actually, get rid of it. Fury and a Brood would actually almost win, though. No, let's get rid of the Brood. I'm gonna get a bird back. Um, not a high need. I want a thunder surge though. Too bad. Too bad. Let's see. So at least destroy the stuff that's definitely going to attack us next turn. And then I'll play a freak down here. And now do I do I Skullstron? What's going to what is he gonna have on the board right next turn? He's gonna still have, he's gonna have five scrolls. I feel like he just played a big combo of his. I don't think he's gonna have another big combo. But more resources for us doesn't really do a whole bunch. Let's just go with a Um I can only do two things on that row. He only has two things in that row. Let's go with a raider in front. On the bottom. Alright, let's hope for, he doesn't get another rumble. I'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay, I need a fury and a corrode. Okay, there's the ancestral pact. So. Okay. This is a really interesting game. Nog, alright. Yeah, I don't think he has God Hands in this deck. Because this is more like an aggressive deck. That's at least what he was expecting it to be. Once he gets three things in front of the idols, it's hard for me to protect. Yeah, he's going for three things in front of the idols. It's hard for me to attack. So, he might have me beat. Actually, he does not have three things in front of this idol yet. Um... Okay, end your turn, mate. And does not have three things in front of the top idol. Okay, let's get a Fury and a Corrode. Actually, a Fury Machinated wins it, doesn't it? Let's see. Machinated, I think I have to keep the Grave Lock just in case I don't have anything else to play. Corrode. Uh, Corrode Machinated, does that win? No, I can't win with a Corrode Machinated. Um, so I guess I just play Lockling Brood Raider this turn, and I destroy his stuff. So I think I want to destroy this. Sucks is a lot of my stuff is attacking this turn. Um, let's. Take out one of the. I really want to thunder search. Let's take out one of those nogs and then take out these two dudes. I mean, the freaks will attack again, most likely. And now I'll go. Down here, I'll go with a Lockling Brood in front. And then play a Raider. And that'll be my turn. Alright, he's getting scrolls from destroying his units, but what am I supposed to do? Okay, another another turn. I have a Croden Machinated in hand, and if I top deck a Fury, I'd still be able to play it. Let's just hope he doesn't protect all his idols like perfectly. Pretty intense game here. Alright. Welp. 
Fertile soil. Happy he does that. I mean, like, I don't really care about how much scrolls and cards he has anymore. I know my time's uh, getting shorter to win this game. So with so many resources, I fully expect he'll destroy this with something like a stag card or something. If he doesn't... Another fertile soil. He has nothing on that bottom row, and he only has, and he only has five resources. There's nothing on that bottom row. If I can get a fury, I think it's almost definite that I can win next turn. Especially since these top idols now have less stuff too. Come on, if I can top deck a fury, I don't even know if like there's furies left in the deck though. Iron whip. If I can get an iron whip, I'm able to win. Also, we'll see. Because iron whip, I can iron whip something and have both of my. Uh, Freaks attack. Rumble. Okay, it looks like a desperation rumble, and it's gonna be okay though. And he does protect. Alright, he does some last minute protecting there. And that dies. Can I win? Um burn that yeah i win i, I win without a corrode wow can i just show multiple idols um i don't think so well let's just see if i can get a uh i'm just yeah, i'm just gonna see if i can get a fury and like do the amazing stuff let's iron whip let's iron whip guys let's iron whip so let's iron whip you and now it's corrode. Oh, actually, it doesn't even matter. All right. GGWP. Wow, that was a really close game. All right. Well, I really thought I was going to lose that. I ended up winning that. Um, did, I think I'm... Yeah, if I, if I just donate to people, I'll have to like donate to everybody. And I used, I had 250,000 gold, now I'm down to 66,000. So I'm not lending people gold. Um, what am I doing? Uh, oh, we only moved up one spot, but that's still fun. That was an awesome match. Um, it was a little tough at points for me, and uh, I'm sure he was thinking on his side that it was a really good match as well. But that'll be it for me today, so like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you tomorrow. So keep on scrolling, scrollgers.